steal my project. Hi, my name is Gabby, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about the chemistry of lying. What you just witnessed was an example of someone lying. Did you notice that her heart began to beat a little faster and that she began to sweat once she started to lie? These symptoms are all a result of chemistry taking place inside the body. When you lie, your body begins to feel stressed. This stress triggers the release of epinephrine and norepinephrine. These two hormones are catecholamines and are responsible for the symptoms your body feels when you're stressed, like increased heart rate. These two hormones are made in the adrenal medulla. The building blocks for epinephrine and norepinephrine are the amino acids phenylalanine and tyrosine. These amino acids go through a series of reactions in order to produce epinephrine and norepinephrine. The process for the production of these hormones involves a series of stages. The amino acid tyrosine is first oxidized into L-DOPA. Oxidation is a chemical reaction that occurs when a substance is in the presence of oxygen. L-DOPA is then decarboxylated into dopamine. Decarboxylation is a chemical reaction that removes a carboxyl group and results in the release of carbon dioxide. From there, dopamine is oxidized into norepinephrine, which is then stored in the synaptic vesicles. In order for epinephrine to be created, norepinephrine must be methylated. Methylation is the substitution of an atom or group by a methyl group. The process for the creation of these hormones shows just how chemistry is involved in lying. The polygraph is a test that measures the reactions that come from the sympathetic nervous system, like blood pressure and pulse. This system works based on the belief that when you lie, your body undergoes stress and anxiety. However, this system can be outsmarted and a person can learn to mask any indications that would show they were lying. This is the reason why, in a court of law, polygraphs are not considered hard evidence. The polygraph essentially measures the reactions that come from the release of norepinephrine and epinephrine into the bloodstream. Make a little effort. Thank you for watching.